Okay, well, welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian, and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines. And as we do every week, we talk about the NRL rounds. And this week, we're talking, gentlemen, about round seven. How are we tonight? Brian, we'll start with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? You're an ass man. You really are an ass man. What did I do? I asked you a question. Yeah, it was a five second answer, by the way. Yeah, and, and your time's really up. I'm fine. Tom, how are you? I, I'm good. It always, it always makes me laugh when you actually refer to us as gentlemen. Yeah. Makes me laugh. It's really, <laughs> really up to the viewers to decide that one, I think. I'm, I'm actually trying to get some culture into this thing, and, and I know it's not working too well. But, gentlemen, we, we do have some extra yeah. viewers this week. We yeah. do? We do. So, thank you all for joining Very us. Very good. And, Please try and get more people along and watching the show as well. Who's extra? We had Sally come on board. We had Sally come on board. Welcome, Sally. Yep. And we had uh, a couple others. Yeah, Thank no, you very no. much. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And I he's not making that up. Sorry. No, no. It was that, that lady from Melbourne. And I have to be that nice. That was Sally. Oh, that was no, Sally. Sally. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hello, sorry, Sally. Sally. <laughs> we'll get the other names. Brian wasn't supposed to ask me I a think question. Sally so. won't give us a good issue. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a bit scared of you, Sally, to <laughs> say no. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, let's have a talk about round seven of the NRL. We'll start out on the Thursday night game with the Dogs against the Roosters, mm-hmm. and the Roosters winning 6 0. Yes. Who would like to start on that game? Brian, you told me. Sure, you, you you sure, sure. I'll, I'll start because the, that game, that game uh, I think, you know, the, the media gave it a lot of criticism of being. Uh, a boring, dour game. And you know what? I disagree 100%. Well, hang on for a sec. Now that you brought that up, I'm going to... No, I'm going to actually read part of the media. It says, We've seen some low-scoring thrillers over the years. Genuine heart stoppers built on grit and determination. This 6 nil atrocity wasn't one of them. Oh, see, I disagree. If it wasn't for the Bulldogs offering nothing more in attack than despite the 55% possession and overrunning 2,000 metres... It was the Roosters making 17 errors for 67% comparison rate. Completion. Tell me, completion. Tell me why you now think that was good. <laughs> You're not giving a moment to me. Good. <laughs> you deserve that. Because I actually enjoyed the game. And it's very rarely that I'll watch a Dogs Roosters game and say, I enjoyed that game. Yeah, but you watch. You like watching Manly games. so Yeah, I do. It doesn't say a lot. We'll get to that later. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so look, the, the Dogs, I thought the Dogs were lost in attack. Um, but the Roosters' defence was absolutely exceptional. And I think, um, I think that I, I like that aspect of the game. Yeah. I like, the, I like the, the, the big defensive sets and uh, teams that play with their backs to the wall and, and don't give an inch. And although the Dogs, you're right, the Dogs were off, they were clunky with their attack. Uh, the young uh, 5'8", Benji's... Yep. Benji Marshall. Jeremy Marshall King. Yeah, whoever he is. Yeah. Um, he, he's got a long way to go. Uh, learning learning, learning the trade of being a half and directing play. Yep. Uh, however, I, I think a little bit of the, the problem comes down to, uh, to their hooker. Uh, he kept going to the Marshall side of the field rather than coming back towards Kieran Foran, who's an excellent game manager. He had plenty of touches um, before that. Yeah, not as not as much as you'd ex- not as no. You go back and have a look. Not as many as you'd think. And so I thought I thought that so I thought that the dogs were clunky, but the roosters were exceptional. And even the the dogs' defence in, in saying that uh, the roosters have got a lot of attack in them, and they had one breakthrough try, which was just a piece of uh, individual brilliance from mm-hmm. Latrell Mitchell. I, I thought it was a fantastic game. Okay. I enjoyed it. Tom, you enjoyed. Um, well. Spent my, spent my time stand, standing on the edge of the seat and uh, and standing on the edge of your seat. Sitting on the edge of the seat, standing up, I was nervous as anything. I mean, we scored in the fifth minute, seventy five minutes of, of, of defending. Now, it was a two sided performance by the Roosters. Yeah, absolutely sensational um, defence because they didn't let them in, and and you know the the dogs had every opportunity that they threw the sink at, at the Roosters. So that side, I think, was absolutely sensational. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we just kept dropping the ball. And that's why they had so much possession, because we couldn't hold the ball. And that's a real concern, you know. Yeah. Um, that's a real concern. Um, but I think, I think, I'd like to think at least, that the Roosters came to the mindset of defence being king this week. Yep. That it was all about 
getting their defence right after such a terrible display the week before. That, is it, was it Latrell Mitchell who was sent for 10 minutes? Yes. Oh, yes. what a joke. And okay. I, thought that was, I thought that was very, very, yeah, oh, look, very 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Like, look, I don't think it probably should have been him, but someone had to go because they were getting too many penalties in a row. Well, but I want to ask you... You can say that about Rabbitohs, you can say that about any it. club, any team, but there's an inconsistency about giving that. And, and look... He, he tackled him without the ball, mm. but it looked very. It looked pretty obvious that, that I think it was Jackson, wasn't it? Was about to get the ball, yeah. And so he was in the process of tackling him, seeing that he was going to get the ball. What happened was the ball didn't get to him, mm. um, and so you know I think it was a line ball. I think they should have got a penalty. The ten in the bin was over the top. Yeah. The other thing that I thought was blatantly obvious was, and it didn't lead to anything, but Morris got tackled near 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 the try line and on the, in t- in touch. He was clearly over. He was actually laying on the touchline and oh, yeah. then threw the ball back, mm-hmm. and they got another another set of six. Yeah, uh, you know there were some ordinary decisions. Okay, I want to ask you guys a question, and we'll go th- probably through this. There have been a lot of a lot of sin binning at the moment. Mm-hmm. How long should we give a player to walk off? Oh. Because I tell you what, they seem to be walking slower and slower, and it drives me crazy. That the oh, refs yeah. don't say you go off, but you go off that way. Correct. To the goal line. There's no reason not why they should take it all line. the way back. They take yeah. so long to get back because they could just easily walk off the nearest onto the nearest. And that's what they should be told. Walking around the yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what they, they should be told. Get on with it. this is, it's this obviously is. just giving their team a rest. Of course, it yeah, is. Getting their defence set. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's move on to Mount Smart Stadium, where the Warriors played some George Illawarra and Warriors, gentlemen, winning twenty to twelve. Brian, did you tip the Warriors this week? <laughs> Steve, did you tip the Warriors this No, place? I did not. I went St George. You did, yes, I know. But I wasn't going to talk to you about it because you were crowing about it earlier. Um, he is a rooster. Uh, yes, I know, exactly. Um, yeah. And they and they did it without Sean Johnson? Mm-hmm. Look, I tell you what, Mason Lenor, he's, um, he's a terrific replacement. I mean, he did much the same thing to, against yeah. the Roosters um, yeah. a few weeks before. It, it brings into question, you know, Johnson is... Part miracle, but a lot of um, of ordinary, really. You know, when he's on, he's the best player in the world. Yep. When he's not, which is a lot of the time, I wonder whether he actually holds the holds the attack back sometimes. You know, because he's not he's not an exceptional half. You know, he he is a is a, play, he's a he's a guy who does exceptional things, but I don't think he's that great a half. No, um, no, he, he, he's, he's more individual than he is team. That's right. So, so the, the, the question is, you know, were they better without him? I don't think so. I think that's why they've got Blake Green, to balance out that individual brilliance. Yeah. Well, yeah, nevertheless, I thought... Uh, I don't think the Dragons were bad at all. I think they were, they were really very good. I just thought that the, the Warriors just had a desire to yeah. hang in there and hang in there. And, and Isaac Luke played his best game. Um, exceptional. Yeah. 40-20... And then he does a solo try. Yeah. I think that was an exceptional performance. And, I, and I've got to say, I, I texted Hello Barry um, at the end of the game and questioned whether this was the beginning of the end of St George, oh. as it was last year. Jeez. But really, we don't that's think that's going to happen, that's right? No, we don't. Man. We don't think that's no. going to happen. No. Um, interestingly... Because uh, they lost the seventh game last year. That's they did. Oh. But they're a different team than last year. Yeah. 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 Interestingly, uh, Steve Kearney said... Is Steve Kearney, isn't yeah. it? Yep. Yeah, the Warriors coach, Steve Kearney, said uh, the home crowd was what got us home. And I don't know how many Warriors teams in the <laughs> past could have said the home crowd played an advantage there. No. Um, so, yeah, I thought, yeah, good job, good job, Warriors. And I won't be picking you next week either, so everyone out there, just let it be known. Warriors so I, so you'll be picking Man- uh, Melbourne next week? Yes. <laughs> I, I think Roger's, Roger Tugaschik is coming into his own situation. Yes. Yes, uh, his, his defence is really... I think that's the thing that he left the Roosters with really pat poor defence. Yep. I mean, he broke the broke the record for run metres that year. He left us with a very, very poor defensive record and I thought, you know, he's going to have to learn through a few lessons, but he, I think he's learning them now. Yeah. He's okay. really useful. I mean, that, that he, he went up, caught the ball, passed to uh, that, the winning try. He yep. set up the winning try. And, um, yeah, he's really leading from the front. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to Suncorp Stadium where the Broncos played Melbourne Storm and Storm winning 34-20. to 20. This wasn't a bad game. I enjoyed this game. I thought both teams played well. They didn't hurt each other enough. They didn't hurt each other. Okay, let's talk about Billy Slater's try. 
Billy Slater's try, Billy Slater's non-try that wasn't Billy, try. Billy Slater's attempted field goal <sighs> that was called a try instead. I don't know how the rules could say that this is something that we should allow. You know, well, every player now who drops a ball... Send a few interpretations. Of this, well, right? I have seen numerous times this season, last season, where players have dropped the ball and kicked it, and they've gone, knock on. Exactly. So, it just... You know, I, no, I won't make any comment, but I think that uh, Melbourne might be a little bit of a protected species. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, I actually uh, knew what, you were going to say something I think like when that. I think there's a set of rules for them and a rule, set of rules for everyone else. Well, I've, I've got to say, I, uh, I've never been a huge fan of Billy Slater, but to his credit, as soon as he got up, he said yeah, he, he, should, he, he said was clear no. that, that he didn't believe it was a try. Yeah. And if they'd asked him... To make he would have said no. He would have said no, no try. try. No, so, you know, if that asked him, he would have said, said yes for no, sure. He, he already said not. it. Yeah, yeah this, is a, this is a bloke who's taken dives no, for the last No, no, no. Don't worry. You, he would have taken it. How, how good was the game, though? No, no, no. Well, Mel- it, Melbourne, was, it was good in batches. I mean, I think Broncos scored the first try. Then Melbourne went to town for about 20 minutes. Um, and uh, and Broncos had no answer. Would you say Melbourne are back? Do they found their mojo I again? I hope not. But, but you know, if they if they show that form every week, then they'll go back to back. Yeah. You know, that's that's how good they played, honestly. No, they did. They were that good. In, they were that good in that game. That uh, that was scary good. Just yeah. wondering, did everyone out there see my eye roll then? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're well, well let's not too high at the moment. Let, let's ask the question. <laughs> if, how about everyone go to Facebook and put down our, well, answer the question, are Melbourne back? back. Are Melbourne back? Because Melbourne are back. Are back. <laughs> are Melbourne back? Oh, by the way, we didn't say this show was sponsored by anybody. Who's it sponsored uh, by? Do we have a sponsor? Rock Australia you, Radio. Rock Australia Radio. Oh, uh, yeah. Go yeah. to Rock Australia Radio if yeah. you want great music. Go to the Rock Australia Radio. Because we are working on sponsorship. If anyone out there wants to sponsor <laughs> us, we'd be happy to uh, accept that and fund your business product. product. Yes. And for that, Brian will actually behave himself. And the question I'd ask us is plug it to who? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got good viewer numbers. Good we, viewers. Good thank viewers. You. Okay, let's move on to Central Coast Stadium where South Sydney Rabbitohs played the Canberra Raiders and won 42 to 22. Now, I've got to say, I thought South played really well in this game, but I was very disappointed in the last 10 minutes. It was 42 to 12, and we let two tries in the last 10 minutes. And I don't think South, I don't think the South coach would be too happy with that. But I thought South played well. Well, you did your best to take as many players out as you could. Uh, yeah. Oh, he was slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's a tall guy. He's little. Has he already he, taken the two weeks? Yes, yes he's he taken has. the two right, weeks. Okay. So yeah. So Stan believes yeah. he was slipping too. Yeah. Well, that's the way the thing he goes. He slipped into my chest while I was trying to hit him in the air. Well, hang on. How come there was there was. Nothing has been done about the guy who hit George in the head. Oh, because uh, that was an open-handed nothing. It was a shoulder to the oh, head. What are you talking about? open-handed nothing. I didn't see it. There's been comments no, all didn't day, see. all day saying that you oh. cannot possibly compare those two. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes, of course you can. And then George. George, George, yeah. George, get, oh, George got George, off, didn't he? George got off. No, oh. George didn't get off. It was his off. birthday. They had George, didn't, he got charged and he's taken the guilty plea. That's right, yes. So no. he didn't get off. So he got a birthday Let's present. talk about the game. So both the birth burgers were guilty, but one of them still got nothing. Talk so about the right. game. Uh, so I was at the Royals, uh, the Hawkesbury show. Didn't oh, see it. come on. Sorry. You don't tell everyone else that. Yeah. Tom was watching I won seven separately. games out of eight this weekend, okay? <laughs> so sue me. We shall. Brown, what did you think of the game? Oh, look, I thought South was strong again. Thank you. I saw the highlights. <laughs> okay. I saw the highlights. I don't know, I mean, the, Raiders, the Raiders weren't good. Yeah. They, they are not offering much. And, uh, you know, somebody has to finish below Manly. <laughs> go the Raiders, go! <laughs> oh, you're really down on Manly at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. All right, let's move on to Scully Park. That's it. Wow. Well, yeah. Let's move on to Scully Park. I, I thought English is... Um, I want to try and move on. Good. Now, oh, English, English was good. Would look, look, look. Oh, English was great. Right, yeah. I mean, it was good to see him in flight. I mean, not a South fan, okay, but oh, no. but English, English in flight, always good to watch. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Can yeah. I move on now? Yeah. You okay. Now. You mean you want to stop me talking about your team? There you go. No, I want I'll to move on to the show. I'm, I'm being a professional. 
Scully Park at 5.30 on Saturday afternoon where the West Tigers played Newcastle and Newcastle winning on the bell, almost, 22 points to 20. Rocks and this diamonds. Was, this oh, was a good yeah. game. Yeah. I enjoyed Ken, this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw a lot of this game. Kenny Dow, Rocks and Diamonds. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. He's a, he's a killer, isn't he? But, but you know, <laughs> his, his diamonds were more than his rocks this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> While you're holding the ball, let's leave that alone. <laughs> Steve, I've got to ask you, why did you enjoy this game? Because it, because it was length of the field. It was a competition. Sort of, it, it was. It yeah. was close. Yeah. You really never knew. I mean, Newcastle got got ahead, what, 10-0? Um, Tigers got it back to 18-10. Three, three tries in a row in the second half. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Newcastle yeah. game. Look, I, I just thought it was a really good game. And I've got to say, how good is Kevin Nagama playing at the moment? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. It, I think he's yeah. one of the best players going around at well, the moment. He certainly improved a lot from. I, I, maybe the World Cup just in, go, get, held his confidence. I don't know. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, look, I mean, and Jamie Bura, you know, the old, the ex Man he was in junior. Mm. Yeah, Manly, oh, well, he, he was in junior. Well, he always wanted to play for Manly. He's a Manly fan. So he came yeah, from Parrot. Yeah. We'll count him as a junior. He came from Parrot. Oh, but, but you haven't got any yeah. juniors, so you take anybody. So anyway, he comes, he comes on. He, Comes into the half position after Mitchell Pierce, Pierce um, did his pick. He was there for like two minutes yeah. and kicked a fantastic crossfield kick for Rocks and Diamonds to uh, to catch it, oh. score. Jamie Beer is an excellent player. Yeah. He's whole hearted and he would not let anyone down. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. but no, I thought it was a very good game. And, and because it was played in Tamworth, uh, all the Newcastle faithful were there. Yeah, so that was a great result for them. And, and the good thing, again, and we've said this about Newcastle before, is they never gave up. Mm. Mm. They are constantly playing 80 minutes worth of football. Whether they win or lose, yeah, they're, they're in the game for 80 minutes. Next the Tigers will be a little bit concerned about the fact that they, they weren't as consistent as they, they've been. They only played for 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they struggled a bit, but... I, I, look, I enjoy the game anyway. OK, let's move on to 1300 Smiles Stadium. Where North Queensland played the Gold Coast Titans and North Queensland won 26 14. I can't believe that I actually tipped against the Cowboys. I can't I believe you tipped it, it either. Five losses in a row. They're playing at home. They've had a shellacking over the last five weeks. And, uh, and, I, didn't, and I didn't think that they would bounce back. It was dumb. Really dumb. You know. We have that on recording too. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. It's dumb. Very dumb. No, no, it was a dumb decision. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm dumb. It was a dumb decision. Did you enjoy the game? Parts of it. Yeah, I, I find it hard to support either of these teams. Like, hard to watch them. Why? North Queensland still aren't where they should be, are they? Yeah, but they're, they're, they're off. And, it's, and, and it was just hard to watch. And, and the Titans, I don't know, they, they have patches of really, mm. really good form. Yeah. Yep. And then they go through this drop-off of, yeah. I don't know, I, just, it's, I find it, I would be... Frustrated if I was a supporter of either of these clubs. Hey, but they've got wins on the board, so let's take yeah. that. Have you seen the stats for um, the win percentage of the Cowboys when Coop is playing? It is incredible. I, I've heard, yes. It's like I've 60, heard 65% when he plays, and, and, and really low when he doesn't. And so, incidentally, he's been back for two weeks. Mm-hmm. And, and maybe last week was perhaps a, a bit of a blip because he was getting back into the game. But, but uh, his kicking game is, is so important yeah. to that team. Oh, yeah, that but, extra kicker. Kicking, defence, yep. he, he organises stuff. Yep. He, he's, he's a great fullback. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Is, yeah. is he on the outer? Yep. I thought apparently, I heard he's on the outer. Really, apparently, uh, yeah. well, earlier in the year they were saying they're going to get rid of him and uh, Valentine Holmes to come into the uh, Cowboys play fullback. Mm. So you tell me, I don't Holmes know. He's not getting the message, is he? No, he's I'm, the world's best swinger who wants to be a fullback. Yeah. And, I, and honestly, and I wouldn't replace him. That's a really poor, poor decision. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't replace him. I wouldn't replace him. Okay, uh, let's move on to ANZ Stadium. Brian, you want to talk about this one? Parramatta Eels playing Manly. I saw this game. Uh, thank you. I and watched every pa- minute of it. Parramatta, and you probably watch the replay as well. Parramatta winning 44 to 10. What a turnaround. There's a glazed over look on my face, Steve. 92% completion for the, so for the Eels. So, I remember when... Manly beat Parramatta, what was it, 54 nil. Four nil, and then you, you got smashed by South and you said there was a turnaround of. What's the turnaround now? Off field. It's about 100? Stuff, I think. Oh, it's 88 points turnaround from the Parramatta two games. Yeah. What's going on at Manly? 
I don't know. But when are you going to fix it? When am I going to fix it? When are you going to fix it? I'll tell you right now. You (laughs) you tell them right now. This. See, I changed my jersey up behind us, people out there. This is my original 1987 jersey. It used to have uh, Des Hazel's number seven on the back. You picked it off, did you? (laughs) It fell fell off. It's an original 1987 after many washes. Look, you know, I, I can say this hand on heart. I love my team. And that the performance over the last two weeks, the South's performance was bad, but they were there was effort. Yeah. The last two weeks, I I don't I don't I don't get it. Who did you play last week? Seriously, uh, I can't remember. No, no, I can't. It's not worth it. I'm not going to play. Doesn't matter. Who did they play last week? I'll, I'll tell you. They they got smashed by the West Tigers last oh, week. Oh, the Tigers. 38-12. Okay. And I, Just and, in case you and, forgot. And that was a, that was a Brookvale, and it was and it was a shambles. <clears throat> Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's off-field dramas. That's fine. All it's clubs, in but all clubs have off-field dramas. Yeah, but, but not to not. Yeah, the, no, okay, but the, the, I, I don't want to get into no, 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 the no, Hastings they, issue. They're not to the li- the level that yeah, they are. I, I would I would say they they do. Manly have a number of things that are wrong that that I that uh, are irrelevant to the football. We've got salary cap pressure. We've only got uh, twenty seven registered players under the cap of 30. So we've got to find three players to pay somehow by the June 30 cutoff. Mm. Uh, we've only got, apparently the club has only 23 fit players to choose for first grade. So it's not going to be any changes. It's going to be the same blokes running out again. Mm. There is no one else. Um, but they don't even look like they want to play with each other. I think that's the thing. It's not like Manly are in the game but being beaten because they're being competitive. No, they don't even look like they're being competitive. No, and we lost Brad Parker, who you know I, I was laughing at Tom early in the season because um, uh, Ferguson was their best player as a winger, and I was thinking, yeah. "How does your winger be your best player?" <laughs> <laughs> I think Brad Parker has been the best player in that in that team for the last three or four weeks. And now, 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 now an injury to a knee injury, and he's yeah. out for three or four weeks. Yeah. That's a recurring injury, isn't it? Uh, that was his shoulder last time. Oh, I thought he, I thought he had a meniscus injury. Uh, it. it might have. Uh, either way, there's mm. there's big issues, and it starts and ends with. I don't know. The players aren't showing up, oh, I, and, and you know what? As a supporter, that's the hardest thing. If we were showing up, and it was, you know, thank goodness we only played Parramatta. Because you know what, I watched it, I watched that game again. Parramatta weren't good. No. Uh, no, I, no, I no, don't no, think Parramatta, no, Parramatta were good weren't good. If we were playing one of the top four or five teams in the comp, they could have put a hundred on us. Yeah. They they were Parramatta were, were were not that good and still scored forty four points. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, why we should talk is, about that? It is yeah. it is absolutely it's it's it turns my stomach to think that this is a club that. The supporters demand success. They've been successful all the way along. And now all of a sudden, it's, yeah, it's but average. It's, it's so below average. In Manly's defence, you, you'll be successful again. You're just having a bad year. Is no. Trent Barrett in trouble? Yes. Should he be in trouble? I don't think he should be in trouble. I, I don't believe these don't, issues I, are his I, fault. I think this is outside of his jurisdiction. Really. Yeah, look, I, I remember, for those of you that are out there that are new... Um, I made a comment when Trent Barrett was uh, made coach, yep. and that is Manly have never been successful under a non-Manly coach. And I thought Trent Barrett was perhaps the difference. Look, he speaks well, yep. and but if something is wrong. Maybe, you know, as they say, the coach has lost the dressing room. I don't know what it is, but something is there. Yep. And for that many players to not show up continually... I don't know. Where do you put the blame? Can we talk about Parramatta instead? Talk about Parramatta. No. Yeah. Because Garrett, it's been 10 minutes talking about Manly. And how well, it hasn't are. been 10 minutes, but okay. Um, oh, it's less I, I gave him time to talk about South. Talk about South. La- during the week, uh, in fact, in the, in the press conference after the game, um, they asked Brad Arthur what happened at training because there was, there was talk about that. And, um, and he said very diplomatically, he said, yeah, well, um, you know, some of them were starting to get a bit competitive and, uh, and some of the assistant coaches wanted to pull them up and I said no I think they need to get this out of their system and he said that a lot of them were just fed up with each other they started belting each other and I thought during the week I thought aha this is why I'm tipping Parramatta well actually I heard the same thing that's why I did it as well but 
Is that what Paramount needs to belt each other each week? No, they only needed to do it once because I think now they've got some self belief. You know, you know, you can say all you like that Manly were pathetic and that they didn't, that, that, you know, that that that, uh, that the Eels weren't very good. I so, but pathetic. but but well, you inferred it. And yeah, everybody it else has that's all done. <laughs> but, but 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 they they put on some terrific um, plays. I think Alvaro, who I normally have rated very highly, he was he was superb. Um, their forwards ran ran really hard, and um, Moses and Norman seemed interested again, yep. and seemed to coordinate again, which they haven't been doing for the last six weeks. Yep. And I thought that was uh, it was it was nice to watch. I mean, I, yep. I know that's not nice for him to no, watch, no. but but it was n- the the football was nice to watch. Um, yep. Okay. One last thing. Can I say one last thing about yep. my club? Uh, in that squad of twenty seven, yeah, we only have four players over the age of twenty three. Okay. The future looks good. <laughs> the future's <laughs> fine. Bleed down the track. Um, so sorry, that was that was. I, I meant to say that as a, as a positive, but for some reason, look, they fell in a hole. The first twenty minutes was they only had the ball once again. Mm. You know, well, the same thing happened. Well, it was it? well, it was thirty three percent possession, and I think three tackles in the opposition twenty in the first half. Yeah, and Kelly gets called back because one of the more mature players decided to stop in the line and uh, yeah it, that was yeah well, I, I, I know it was but <laughs> man his completion was worse than ours yay yeah, yeah. that doesn't happen it's pretty bad <laughs> um, either, either way look, the future might look, look might look might look bright but until we can get some experience there and some game management I really I, go I, the deep freeze <laughs> another couple of years oh, we're in we're in we're in a world of hurt I, I don't, Tom, I don't get how you can be so excited about someone who has a, a worse completion rate than the Roosters. Oh, <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to take it in here because ours is woeful every week. All right, let's move on to Southern Cross Groups. Uh, Brian, are you finished? You didn't want to say anymore? No, the, 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 the internal tears are just blocking me up. Southern, let him go. Right, let him go. I've got these Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's okay. I'm happy if you touch it. It's fine. Yeah, but he wanted to blow his nose on it. Ah. Okay, let's talk about uh, Cronulla Sharks and the Penrith Panthers and the Sharks winning 26-22. Tip the Panthers. I really didn't think... I made three mistakes this week. Uh, and one of them was the Sharks at home and the other one was the Cowboys. So it's just about perfect. Three, three this week? <laughs> no. Tipping. Oh, tipping. tipping. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see oh, you tipping on. We lost the microphone. microphone. You knocked over a microphone. Oh, we lost back. the dressing table. Testing, testing, lost testing the one, two. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 in retrospect, I should have seen this coming, that the um, the Sharks were going to put in an effort at home because they've been pretty awful at home and um, and they needed, to, they needed to prove something to themselves and they did. Yeah, but that being said... No but they were great. No, no, but, no but, great. but overall, no Gallon, uh, no... Luke Lewis. Luke Lewis. But Penrith are without no. as well. Wade Graham. Mm. Yeah. You know, Andrew Fetter wasn't supposed to play. He was yeah. walking around with a busted knee last week on crutches. Mm. That was that was a good performance yeah, by the Sharks. But, but Penrith have players missing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was up to Maloney again to try and pull it out of that. They hadn't been quite... Yeah. Um, so, mm. uh, and he went, they weren't close. Yeah, but, yeah, but two late tries. Jesus, yeah. if you think... <laughs> You think Seabold will be upset? Well, that that would have made him upset. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. for sure. Hook will have to hook someone. Oh. <laughs> hook gets the hook. Flano will have to hook somebody. No. No. Oh, okay. Hook, right. Hook, 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 hook. was upset because they scored two late drives. Well, oh, yeah, that's true. I, well, I tell you what. I mean, they Penrith again. They didn't give up. No. They played well. Maloney played well. Yeah. They just needed that extra spark at the end and couldn't find it. But there's mm. now talk about whether Cleary's going to come back early or not. About origin. I don't think they need to at the moment. I think no. they're better off saving for the end of the and year. I still wonder whether he, line is better without him. I mean, you know, in the end, I hope it'll be a combination. If I was the coach, I wouldn't pull him back for Origin. Oh, I'll pull him I know back after know. Origin. But clearly, might be thinking, oh, you know, I've got yeah. a chance to play Origin. So, yeah. all right, gentlemen, let's. Now that we've done that, Tom, would you want to do the ladder? No. Brought to you sure. by Rock Australia Radio. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. And what a good. Hey, Rock Don, Australia Don, Radio. the Rock Australia Radio yeah. Ladder. Yeah. I like that. Don, yeah. there you go. There Don, you go. Don, by the way, Don is our, is our chief big kahuna who looks after Rock Australia Radio. Well done, Don. Okay, well let's done, do Don. the ladder. Tom? 
Yep. Uh, continue on in first place, the Dragons, uh, despite their loss this weekend, um, to the Warriors who are in second position. Um, the Panthers in third, the Tigers still in the top four. Yep. The Storm of now creeping up to, to fifth position, followed by the Rabbitohs, and for the first time this season, the Roosters follow them in seventh position. In their shadow. Big yeah. deal actually, about that. Actually, you're right. In our shadow. No. In our <laughs> shadow. Yeah, <thanks. laughs> See, don't worry. Thank you. I Thank got, you. I got Brian, nothing, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, so you'll just you'll just eat everybody else Bra- alive. Brian's just uh, in a shadow. And in eighth position to make out the eight are the Knights. Uh, the Sharks are in ninth. The Broncos in tenth. Titans in eleventh. I don't know how that happened, but uh, the Raiders in twelfth. The Seagulls in thirteenth. The Bulldogs in fourteenth. Cowboys still in fifteenth, and the Eels. Uh, both Cowboys and Eels having wins, but not enough to get them up the ladder yet. Okay, so everybody's lost one. Everybody's one one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Where everyone's off. What? Yeah, everybody's everyone's won lost one. Everybody's lost the game. Yeah. Everyone's won All again. the teams. Right. Yeah. So the, the teams who, that were that were undefeated and they have lost one. And the teams All right. That have won one. They've won one. Gotcha. It's just so hard when you got to explain it. It's like nuts. It's like it's like it's ten minutes. Long. Maybe we need to do this in the morning when it's a bit brighter or something. Okay. Let's t- question without notice, gentlemen. Well, I don't like these. Yeah, I do. Questions without notice. Can the Knights make the eight without Mitchell Pearce? I didn't think they could make the eight anyway. Well, then you're no good to talk to, are I you? think it's far less likely. Yeah. Um, because I, I don't think... I think uh, Brock Lamb hasn't shown that he's, uh, that he's quite up to first grade, I don't think. They beat the or Tigers Jack, Jack without, without Mitchell Pearce. And let me say, I mean, yes, he played half the game, but they came back from behind without Mitchell Pearce. Yeah, but I think their team is going to improve. I, I, I think there's probably enough other choices to keep the Knights out of the eight. And sometimes it's not about how well a team is playing, it's who's better than you. Okay. And we've said that before, and I just think there'll be too many other teams pushing ahead that will keep the Knights out of okay. the eight. So let's go on to Facebook, everybody, and answer that question. Do you think now that Mitchell Pearce is, is injured for the Knights, can they make the eight? And, and, I'd like and, an and let's, let's not forget just how significant... Uh, um, a, a buy he's been for them. You know, he's yeah. been incredible. I mean, and and I I personally think he's playing as as well, if not better, than he was at the Roosters. Which, which, which is why I posed the question because yeah. he he has been exceptional yeah. this year. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, even his kicking game is better than it used to be. You know? yeah. we he's complain getting, over and over he's again getting about repeat sets. Yeah. <laughs> we complain over and over again about you know high bomb yep. to nobody, and uh, you know he's not doing that. And yep. so a change of coach has been good for him. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Let's move on to round eight of the NRL. Yes, it starts indeed. on Wednesday, Anzac Day. Um, with two traditional Anzac Day clashes. The first one is St George Illawarra against the Sydney Roosters at Allianz Stadium. Yep. Coming into that game, and Brennan. Looking forward to that. Barry's not going with you. <coughs> uh, I I thought too late about getting him a ticket, but he still wasn't sure about where he was going to go. No. Oh, okay. Look. Um, Who's going to win? Well, obviously I'm going to pick the Roosters, but um, seriously, based on on current form, you'd have to think the Dragons have got this fairly comfortably. But um, if we can bring the defence that we brought last week, admittedly against the Dogs, but it was a it was a shutout, um, and we can try to complete a bit more, then I think we could be competitive. Um, I don't I don't doubt that they can defend well. My problem with the Roosters right now is the attack. Well, if we can complete, we can attack. The problem is well, we're not completing at all. Yeah. We're not getting. We're not getting to the, the halves. Aren't getting the ball in a, in a position where they can attack. That's been the problem. Yeah. We drop the ball within within our own half, and you do that, you're just not going to not going to have a chance. So we've got to complete. We've got to defend well. Um, it's uphill against us. I mean, yeah. but I'll be tipping this. Brown, I'll be going to Dragons, and I'm not surprised. And that's a fair call. Yeah. The, that that team that team's strong. They've named the same team. They've dropped uh, Jacob. They're, sorry, they dropped. Uh, they put Jacob Host back onto the bench. Right. He's, so I, I think just consistency. Taki Arco's back. Yeah. Which is interesting. Is he really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Indeed. Well, that's I good. Well, that, that'll make it big. That'll make it big. No, he was. He was. That, they put him on the extended bench last week. Right. Okay. Right. Um, that'll make that'll make a huge difference through the middle because he adds a lot in defence and yeah. in bending the line. That'll be good. Um, but I think, look, the Dragons will deserve I mean, the, the Dragons' forwards, even though they lost last week, are playing a lot better than the And they'll be hurting. 
they'll be hurting for yeah, the last week too. So you know, it's, it's going to be tough, tougher summer for the Roosters, but I, uh, I'll be hoping. I'll be hoping. Yeah, I'll be hoping. Okay, I'll be, I'll be going the, the Dragons as well. Yeah, Fair enough. Two weeks in a go, two weeks in a row, Steve's tipping the Dragons. If they oh, lose this, excuse me. If they lose this, <laughs> he's got the kiss of death as well. I've I've tipped the Dragons before. Really? Maybe. Okay, let's move on to Amy Park, where the Storm will play the Warriors. Sometimes I think there's something unfair about this. The Why? Storm get to play the Warriors at home every time this is on. It's the same with the Allianz Stadium. I mean, I think it's, it's going to be played at SCG from here on. In yeah, three well, years. for the next three years. And I think the Storm game, Storm Warriors game, should be played in a neutral venue as well. Okay. Personally. But let's talk about it, yeah. since, it's, since it is there. Yep. Um, I think it's going to be a cracker. Yeah. Because I think the Storm are finding form. The yep. Warriors are showing real consistency, which they haven't shown. And this game often goes the Warriors' way. Yep. Um, so I'll be really tempted to tip the Warriors in this game. But I am splintering at the moment. Okay. Brian? Um, oh, he hates going to the store. I hate going to the store. <laughs> I am. What? I'm going to the store. Why? The Warriors? Because no. you know. <laughs> because you no. Can't. No. No. I don't, I don't think the Warriors can win full stop against Melbourne down there on Anzac Day with the Storm coming back into form and the Warriors away from home. Sorry. I've got to say I'm leaning to the Warriors. Wow. Well, wow. Let, let, let's, let's look at form at the moment. <laughs> yes. The Warriors and, the, and St George are the form sides of the competition. True. Mm. And Melbourne were, were good last week without being their usual selves. Well, they, were, they weren't consistently good. I mean, they were no, exceptional that's, that's when they were good. But they let, they let a couple of tries in. I think uh, Broncos got, got a couple of tries in the middle of the game, second yeah. half. Mm. All right. Yes. Okay, let's move on to Thursday night's game where South Sydney Rabbitohs play the Brisbane Broncos at Anzard Stadium. From one versus two, his favourites. Well, you know who I'm picking. Yeah, no, no, no. Melbourne's two. Melbourne's two. two. I don't have second and third favourites. I just have the bunnies. That's it. You do. Anyway, um, deny it all you like. Um, I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, it'll be tight. I think it'll be really tight. Yes. Yeah. Because I, I think they play two different brands of football. Um, I think the Rabbitohs play a very, um, very expansive sort of game with their little men a lot of the time. And um, the Broncos generally play a power game yeah. as a rule. Um, they're very solid in defence, but the Rabbitohs have been good in defence. I, I can't split them. No they're Sam. Really good. No Sam. Yeah, that'll no. that'll be a telling blow. Yeah, that that'll hurt. I. Yeah. If if Sam was there, I'd go the Rabbits without hesitation. Now I'm going the Rabbits with hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sorry. Then, by the way, last week I think I got two. So yeah, good don't, luck. don't anybody take Brian's tips. I'm splintering. On You're worse than I am. And that's saying oh, something. Oh, terrible. What about okay, this and you're, and you're it's splintering. Really a hard game, but okay, let's go to um, let's go to the next game on Friday night. Manly Sea Eagles against Newcastle Knights at Lotto at Lotto Land. Yeah, if Pierce was here, it would be a no-brainer. If Pierce was playing, it would be an absolute no-brainer. You'd still pick Manly. No, no. Now, but, Brian, but not... are you going to pick Manly with any confidence? Yes. <laughs> Good. And now tell me when we turn this off, whether you believe that. I think that they can't possibly play as bad as they did uh, last week. I think that performance against Parramatta was disgraceful. I think at uh, Brookvale, things have to change. And the Knights without Pierce are not as strong. Yes. So they have to win. A bit interesting to see who the Knights playing the halves I mean, yeah. or whether they bring Brock Lamb up no, um, they have to and Jack Cogger yeah. or whether they put Bure in the halves no uh, he's a back row of hooker yeah he, he should come off the bench play in the centre's a bit for us as well but only only for injury so yeah. Yeah. and Cogger yeah. and Lamb have done it before hmm. so I, would, I wouldn't be changing inexperience but I think the Seagulls the Seagulls have to have a punch up at, at training this week honestly why you get, get fined if you do that and you're a Seagull <laughs> You're going, okay. have a punch, you're going to have a punch up in the Parramatta. Okay. So, manly, so you're, you're going Manly, you're going... I'm going to go Manly with no confidence. Okay, I'm, I'm actually going to go Manly with confidence. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I think they can turn it around. 
Let that be a lesson to everyone out there. When the three of us agree, definitely don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 Eagles, yes, pick them. <laughs> get, yeah, get off them. Or well, at least don't put your house on it. Okay, on Friday as well, Pen- at Panthers Stadium, Penrith Panthers against the Bulldogs. Yeah, oh, I've got no doubt at all this one. Yeah, has to be the Panthers. Yeah, the dogs, are, dogs have shown that their really? attack is very, very clunky. I'm actually leaning to the dogs on this one. kidding? No, I'm not. Why? Because Panthers are struggling at the moment. They're losing players they're hand over fist. They're not struggling. They struggle to beat the, the, the Sharks. They've got an incredible amount of depth. Yeah. They're really, I mean, you know, they've got incredible depth. I, I can't see anything but a very, very comfortable win by the Panthers. Well, I'm but not sure. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think they'll, they'll win by plenty. Sorry, Wayne, Mark, and all the other doggy supporters out there, but yeah, no way. The Panthers will win. Yeah. Just I'm going to play this back to you when they lose. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Are you going to play it back to us when we, when we win? And they win? No, I'll win. Dig, totally and ignore it and lose the video. That's right. Okay, let's go to Seabus Super Stadium, Gold Coast Titans and the Cronulla Sharks. Mm-hmm. So, they've got, so they still won't have Gallon. They still won't have no. Lewis, probably. No. Um, they're, the main, they're the main outs, aren't they? Pretty significant. I wonder if Wade Graham will be back. Mm-hmm. Graham. What did Graham have? I don't know. I thought he had a couple of weeks. I'm not oh, sure. I can't remember. Yeah. I have Hammy, I think. Yeah. Um, Look, the Titans, you just, they've become, they've become the new warriors, the new guns. You know, like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get with the Titans. I'm just wondering if anyone out there is a Titans supporter. Well, I mean, that, if you're a Titans supporter, tell me if I'm wrong. You don't know what you're going to get, seriously. And uh, used to be, used to say that about the Warriors, but the Titans now, you can't tip them with any confidence. So no. I'm thinking the Sharks will probably get this game. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm it's going to be a sharks. few tight results this, this week. I don't think it's oh, going to be easy to tip. Sharks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one three hundred small stadium, North Queensland and the Canberra Raiders. Raiders will be desperate. No. Nah, Ra- Raiders got nothing. Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys for me. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the Cowboys probably will win. Um, there's a few line ball games in front of the for team this week. Yeah. Oh, only the first few. Okay. ANZ Stadium on Sunday night. Parramatta Eels against the West Tigers. This Can great Parramatta game. make it two in a row? No. Yeah. Manly made them look good. The Tigers are actually in form. The Tigers in the... That's not what you said when we were talking about the Tigers game from this weekend. Yeah, I didn't say they were bad. Although, they, well, they had a bad game. But, no, the Tigers the Tigers are playing really good football. Okay. So, I, I think the tipping comps are going to be really... Uh, everybody's numbers are going to be really down this week because they, I think they're the few really, really line ball games. Not line. this week. They've been this down is, every this week. Is, this is joke around right. for me, boys. <laughs> I'll be joking around. I'll be tipping, all right? You know why it's my joker round? I have to play my joker on a round that my team is going to win. <laughs> really? And so I don't know how many won. more wins we're going to have. <laughs> so, <they're always> <laughs> so you're sure they're going to win? I'm, I'm confident. Like, so I, I, All right. I don't know who I'm going to... So who are you tipping this game? Tigers? I've got to say I'm leaning to Parramatta. Yeah, me too. Oh, so me these too. guys, you know what? At least I Hater. give all those listeners Parramatta. out there a definitive... <laughs> Answer on my tips. He's beginning to call Parramatta. It's called, he thinks he's called Parahater. You look. You, you know what? You should see the text that I've got and the messages from yeah, Parramatta I supporters out there. Do you want to read out some of them? No. No. Okay. No, I don't think many of them are suitable for air. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> you would have to change. We'd have to have a rating symbol. Yeah, that's there. right. You, you, there'd be a lot of. Uh, you got a. You got a beat button over there. No, I don't have a beat button. So no, we can't do that. Well, honestly, Parramatta supporters have been texting and messaging me. Continually, so you know that we beat them, and I thought, oh, that's actually, you know what, that was that was embarrassing for them. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go. Did they? You know? I did. You know what they did to me? Inundated. <laughs> Inundated. Yes, but you know why? They know you'll bite. Oh, I had. Oh. And 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 butter butter wouldn't melt in his mouth. Either. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, gentlemen, that brings our show to a close. Do you have anything you want to end with, Brian? No. No. No, I'm just scared of the results this weekend. You're just wait you're just hoping you've hit rock bottom. I don't think that can get worse. Alright. Tom, do you want to say anything before uh, you go? It should be a great contest on Wednesday and yep. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and it's gonna be a wonderful day at Anzac Day to remember why we're there and yes. uh, to celebrate those who gave their life in our have, have either of you two seen the ads for, for the Anzac Day games on Fox? Uh, it's very good. Yeah, I don't really know if I saw the one on Fox. 
And really, what it's saying is that is that you know this really is just a game. It's but, not. But, you know, but what I would say as a, as a footy show is, is to say that don't forget on Anzac Day to remember and to yes. take take time to pause. Um, go to a, a dawn service, whatever it is, and remember those men who gave their lives for us, so we can enjoy the kind of life that we have. Yep. I think that's yeah, really important. All right, that brings our show to a close, gentlemen. Um, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, one, after you've w- finished watching this, please go to Rock Australia Radio and have a listen to some great music. Um, gentlemen, we will do it all again next week. Yep. Thank you and See bye-bye. Ya. See ya.